Hey guys, this is Dr. Sangeet and welcome back to another lecture of Dental Parchala where we help you understand and learn dentistry better and easy man. Today's topic we are going to talk about the tumor wherein there is increase in the cell number. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back to 5 and 5 series where we cover each topic under 5 headings in 5 minutes and today's topic is the basal cell carcinoma aka also known as the rodent ulcer. And why the rodent ulcer? Because it no away in the skin like a rodent. So what it does? It is going to perforate. Suppose if it is occurring on the facial skin it will make the ulcer will make a huge hole. A hole like how rat rats make hole right the same way like a rodent it no away in the skin. So, as the name suggests, basal cell carcinoma. So, the carcinoma word means there is going to be a malignancy of the epithelial, right? And which layer, the basal layer of the epithelium has got neoplastic, that is the skin layer, we can say. Suppose in the epidermis, dermis, we have skin, right? Hair follicles. So, all the, uh, all the cells have in the epidermis, all the layers, a basal layer of the epidermis or the hair follicle will give rise to a carcinoma known as the basal cell carcinoma if it is or oh, there is an overgrowth right so it is mostly seen in the regions where there is direct sunlight where there is people with less protection less melanin so white people usually have more chances of skin cancer as compared to the dark people right so this is the reason that we have the melanin pigment and we are little bit more immune to the skin cancer so talking about basal cell carcinoma to make it easier for you to remember i have made a mnemonic out of the basal cell so basal cell ce up to ce we are going to cover and now that we know basal cell will cover the basal layer of the epidermis basically the hair follicle so it is a neoplasm of the skin it is a disease arising from the basal layer of the epidermis or the hair follicle Another B is bleeding from the ulcer. So what happens? This is arising from the basal layer of the epidermis, hair follicles. B means basal, B means bleeding from the ulcer. So what we see is bleeding from the ulcer. Now, it is most frequently seen in the geographic areas with high temperature and low humidity. So most commonly seen in the Queensland, in Australia and Arizona in US. So guys, also this is frequently Ha, is frequently a solitary carcinoma but it can be multiple in case of gorlin gold syndrome and the exposure the etiology is the sunlight the actinic radiation and the nature of ulcer is a slow growing ulcer it is firm and slightly elevated from the surface and it is just a small nodule in most of the cases also known as the rodent ulcer as it has got the tendency to gradually know away in the skin like a rodent and location it is found in the hair bearing areas of the skin it is rarely seen in the mucosa so hair bearing areas of the skin of the face basically involve the upper lip nasolabial forehead cheek forehead all these areas c will be central crusted ulcer what kind of ulcer it is a slow growing ulcer we already know we already know that uh, it is firm in nature and it is slightly elevated from the surface the central is crusted uh, area of ulcer with the elevated we know that it is slightly elevated from the surface it is smooth and the borders are rolled out borders rolled out margin if we look at the histological section then the epithelial cells have got neoplastic proliferation of the basal layer of the epidermis so all the basal layer epithelial cells you will see invading into the connective tissue so in form of multiple islands solid islands or epithelial strands so there are basaloid cells which are present in form of islands in the dermis and also we can see the lymphocytes infiltration 
So guys, this is about the basal cell carcinoma, aka also known as the rodent ulcer, which arises from, as the name suggests, basal layer of the epidermis or hair follicle, and is just usually seen in the geographic areas with a high temperature, low humidity, and it is usually a solitary ulcer, but it can be multiple with a, with in case of Golden Gold syndrome. arises from etiology is the sunlight actinic radiation and it is a slow growing firm slightly elevated small nodule central crested ulcer with elevated and smooth and rolled out border and located in the hair bearing areas of the face as well as histopathologically it is characterized by neoplastic proliferation of the basal cells right of the basaloid epithelial cells and the neoplastic proliferation is in form of multiple solid islands or the strands of epithelium so guys this is about basal cell carcinoma i hope that you guys have enjoyed the video so if you have enjoyed the video then give it a thumbs up also you can comment in the comment section below and in the description box below now there is a chance to support me on paytm as well as on paypal to make free videos for you guys and to make free notes so guys till then keep reading keep learning stay motivated i will see you soon in the next video